Welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a quick and easy upcycle um, thing. So I got these pants from the thrift store and I made them into this cute little shift style dress. This is real easy. You don't need like a lot of technical skills. You could hand sew it, but I did use a sewing machine, but you don't need much for this. And like I said, I did with a pair of pants. Um, before we get started, do not forget to subscribe and let's get right into it. All right. So with the pants, I opened up all of the seams. You could cut along the edge of the seams, but then you're going to be, you know, wasting the little bit of fabric. And being that it is an upcycle, you want to save every piece of the fabric that you can just in case. Like I said, I did take apart all the seams that was including the waistband and different parts of it. Um, I thought about using the waistband in this, but then I decided to just belt it at the end but you can save these for other projects if you want it to so that's the good part about tearing apart the seams so like i said i tore apart the seams too i had four parts to the pants which are the two front legs and the two back legs once i had all of those pieces together then i just arranged them how i need them i had to remove the you know excess thread because i did tear them apart and just so you know, side note, these pants do have stretch. If you are going to use a pair of pants that don't have stretch, you're going to need to put a zipper in. Um, you can do it down this in the back or on the side seam. All right. So what I did was line it up just like it was, you know, when it was together. Um, but I put them right face to right face. And I'm going to pin the center front seam because I'm using the back parts for the front. With this, I wanted to make a V opening because that's how you're going to get in and out of the dress too. So the top of the pockets are going to fall around your bust, like a little bit above your bust line. So you'll measure down how comfortable you are with the V. And then that's when you will start your center seam. So I did that. And then I'm doing a straight seam, which, you know, we're going to get rid of the little crotch part there in the middle when we do sew that so you just do a straight seam down again starting from where you've measured from the top of your bust line down to the v if you're not comfortable with the beat v being that long you can put the excess in the back but you need to be able to get in and out of it if you're not going to be using a zipper once i did that then i folded over the um little like flap like things there because this is going to be part of your finish when you're done. And then you see it makes a cute little V there. And then you just start to attach the back piece to the front piece. And again, you're going to be doing right face, right side to right side. And I use the bottom of the front leg part. So around the hem. And again, I folded it in a little bit because I folded in the beginning. And I folded in the in the back so you can see like it looks like it's already finished that's you know it's already finished there when you do it like that but again i did the same thing to the other side i did a little fold in and pinned it straight across so these are your two seams so far you have this center front and then you left a little v opening there and then you have which would normally be a shoulder but it's not a shoulder because it's going to fall low because the top part of the pocket is going to be around your bust so you're going to have a space there in between. So the shoulder is going to fall a few inches back. So you're going to measure that from your shoulder to where your bust begins. If you're doing it like this, if you're not doing it like this, then you don't, you can measure it a different way. You can just put that as your actual shoulder seam, make your V deeper. You can do it different ways because it is your own project and it is your own upcycle, but I did it this way. So again, I measured from my shoulder to the beginning of the bust and that's the measurement that I have for that. And then that's where your, my shoulder is gonna lay. And you could mark it so that you don't lose that spot, but I just um, remembered the measurement. And then when I have that spot that goes from the bus to the shoulder, then I'm just gonna measure how far down from the shoulder to the back the opening is gonna be. And again, like I said, you wanna make sure you can get in and out of it. So it can't be too short unless you're gonna put a zipper. If you put a zipper, then you can go all the way up to the back of your neck if you want. But I wanted to do this without a zipper. So that was about maybe 20 inches when I did that from the bus opening to the thing. And then I did the center seam down the back, again, putting it right face to right, right side to right side. 
And that was it. So you have a back seam, a front seam, and the two pieces that connect the front and the back together. And then once you're done with that, you can see how it looks and the dress is starting to come together. The front is going to be longer than the back because it's lapping over in the front. So then you just cut that excess and even out that. But for now, I'm going to measure down where the end of the armhole is going to be. So I really just doubled the measurement from the shoulder to the bust and then put that from the bust to the end of where I wanted the armpit to be, if that makes sense. So say if it's like six from the shoulder to the bust and I added another six right after that, and then you have say 12, and then now it's gonna be your opening for your arms to get in. And then you just put it right side to right side and do the side seams. And once you're done with that, it should look like this. And then all you have left to do is finish up these edges. So you're gonna fold in your armpits and finish that off. And then you're gonna top stitch or you can blind stitch this part here. And then you're gonna do your hem. So again, you had to cut to make the hem even because it was longer, but you can see how it lays and that seam doesn't lay on the shoulder, it lays around the bust. So that was really it for that part. So I hope I'm explaining this good and you're following along. If you're not, you just leave me a question and I'll be happy to answer it. All right, so I just wanted to show you again the hem I cut it even and I cleaned up the inside um, with a serger, but you don't have to do that. You can just cut it real nice and neat. And then I pinned around the armholes and then I made sure not to go over any part of the pocket lining inside because the pockets are functional, which is cute. Not that you would put too many things around your bust line, but if you did, you know, <laughs> you have fun functional pockets for you to do that. And then if it really, it's done. It's cute, it's easy, it's simple, and it doesn't take that long. And you can wear it just like that. Um, and it'll be like a classic cut kind of shift dress that doesn't really have a defined waist. I wanted it with a defined waist, so I added a belt to it, which is also available on my Poshmark at So Trendy-ish if you wanted to get the belt. Um, but I added a belt and that's really it. And like I said, if you're not using stretch, make sure to add a zipper at one of the seams so that you can get in and out of it. But that was it. I hope you enjoyed and liked. If you did, please give a big old thumbs up and I will see you in the next upcycle video. All right, bye.